Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. That was the intro to a remake of one of the most influential survivor horror games today. That was the intro to the remake of Resident Evil. The original remake came out on the GameCube, however it was given a HD remaster to come to modern consoles and was also given a PC release. And after playing it once as Jill and starting Chris's story to get the footage for this video, I can say that I am thoroughly impressed with this remake. First thing we have to talk about is the visuals. Yes, they are slightly dated even with the HD remaster, for example, the character models don't look all that great, but considering that the original remake came out in 2002, these are pretty impressive. With this remake, the original Resident Evil comes back in full swing. Fixed camera angles, door loading screens, pure survival horror at its greatest. Another interesting part of this remake is that it gives you a few options. For example, you can play in the original aspect ratio, like you're seeing now, or you can play in widescreen. You can also play with the original's tank controls, where pushing forward moves you forward regardless of what way the camera's facing, pushing down moves you backwards, and turning left and right will turn your character left or right. Or you can play with the alternate controls that actually change depending on camera angle. This sounds horrible, but if you keep moving in one direction, it doesn't change from camera to camera. This game also adds to the original in many ways. A couple scenarios that did nothing in the original game now change and do something. Something happens when you go to visit these areas. Um, also certain items have been swapped around. 
Certain puzzles have been added to go with the new areas, and there's also a sub-story that goes under the original, um, but doesn't distract from it in any way, which I think is a fantastic addition just to nail home that Umbrella is not exactly a good company. I really enjoyed Resident Evil's remake. Given the fact that I'm not a fan of the original game, this was very surprising to me. I found the game very enjoyable this time, and the survival horror mechanics worked really, really well and kept the tension up. Uh, there's also multiple difficulties, and there's six endings per character. So if you play as Jill, you get six endings, depending on your choices, and if you play as Chris, you get six other endings, depending on your choices. Now, I think this is absolutely fantastic and keeps the replay factor up rather than just playing through two campaigns. I'm definitely going to be playing this remaster a hell of a lot more and I hope you guys buy it as well. It's not too much uh, on Steam or on modern consoles and I'm sure if for consoles if you bought the disc you could probably get it a lot cheaper in a second hand shop. Anyway, that's it for me guys. I've been Ross Gwem. This has been my thoughts on the RE remake. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell only if you did. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.